Y'all know the hardest part about life? Something that I really just don't, I, I just hate this with a passion. Let me know if y'all hate this. All right, the hardest thing about life is going to the refrigerator, or no, going to your pantry, getting some cereal, then you go to the refrigerator and there's no milk in the refrigerator. After you just poured the bowl of cereal. <sighs> My day has gone great so far. But look, we got another video right here for y'all boys. All right, this is Little Mess Down that his transgender nephew can't play women's basketball at Palano City Council. Now, I don't even know what Palano City, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But whatever I do, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Subscribe to your boy podcast channel, which actually the podcast is on this channel now, so never mind. Anyways, let's get it, let's go. One second, please. Okay, hold on one second. I'm just getting everything ready. Okay. Sorry, I just got off work at Starbucks. Do you mind if I take this off? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ain't no way you would at the Starbucks. Ain't, ain't no way, boy. This man got on the rainbow suspenders. Rainbow hair. He got the green Starbucks thingy majiggy to match the... Boy, you different. You is different. Okay, so, anyways, I'm ready. A little bit about me. My name is Marty Epstein. I'm an editor for BuzzFeed. I also work part-time at my local Starbucks as a barista due to the fact that they are paying for my 14-year-old openly gay transgender offspring's transition surgery. But I also enjoy <laughs> the free <laughs> pumpkin spice lattes. They are super yummy. I am also a former writer for the New York Times. I have a college education from the University of Oregon where I majored in gender studies. Hey, this gotta be a joke. Bro, this has to be a joke. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. The only reason I clicked on the video is because I seen liberal mess down and I see the thumbnail. The same thumbnail y'all probably seen on my video is the same thumbnail was on a video. I was like, oh, this might be interesting. Didn't watch the video at all. Is this nigga crying? Is he, is he literally over here? <laughs> Education! <laughs> what, bro, what am I watching right now? I am offended that our children are not receiving affordable gender reassignment surgery along with hormone blockers and access to abortions. <laughs> this alone is a threat to our democracy, as Justin Trudeau only says. It just shows that you people do not care about our children and that these these are the same people who refuse to obey the science and get fully vaccinated it's science people science <laughs> wait wait hold on <laughs> This got it, bro. You tell me right now that this is a joke. You can't tell me right now that this is not how, bro. I refuse to believe this is how somebody would really act. I refuse to believe this is how people act. I, I refuse to. I ref bro, I ain't never seen no meltdown like this before. If this is real, boy, you need nothing, bro. You don't even need constantly. You don't, this is, you, I don't know what you need. This is, I won't even call this a pandemic. This is an epidemic. Okay, this is ridiculous. What the heck? I should have known this was a joke from the beginning when the man came in with a, with a Starbucks, with a Starbucks freaking, I forgot what it's called. And then he got rainbow suspenders on. <sighs> this got to be a joke. This can't be real. Y'all, this can't be real. If this is real, oh man, I did not know our world was coming to an end like this, boy. I did not know our world was coming to an end like this. Nas is straight? What the? Science! <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. What am I watching? How do I find these videos? How, how, how? 
You are selfish murderers. I could die. Don't you people care about my life? No. You racist, insensitive, homophobic pigs. By 14. What you say of me for? I mean, he just basically said F everybody then. Everybody that's not vaccinated, he just basically said F, okay? Oh my god. Your old openly gay siblings, transgender offspring, also has two daddies who love them, yeah, their offspring so much. And CPS is working overtime to take their child away. However, my biggest concern is that my sibling's offspring isn't allowed to play in the eight-year-old girls' basketball league at the YMCA. This alone is showcasing the worst form of transphobia and is a threat to our democracy. My sibling's transgender offspring feels like an eight-year-old girl. Therefore, they should be able to play in the eight-year-old girls' league. Imagine living in a world where a little transgender offspring isn't allowed to follow their dreams because of transphobic Trump supporters and science deniers and conspiracy theorists. I still have nightmares every Lord, help me. Every single night because of the hateful things that Donald Trump said on Twitter. I praise Joe Biden for having the courage and decency to stand up and say that poor kids are just as bright as white kids in this previous election. Decency was on the ballot. And that's what I voted for, not this racist dictator, Donald Trump, the orange man. Transphobia is a spectrum and it can go Your from, hold on. Up. For transphobia is a spectrum. A spectrum. Your time okay. is up. There are many shades of it. Negro, your time is up. How many times are you gonna say? Your time is up. God dang. Keep going on about Trump, the orange man, and the. Uh, the, 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 the. We have the extreme. Your time is up. No, your time is up. Thank you. I'll just reiterate that we strive to conduct. Did this. Excuse my French. Did this, did this man, I was finna say something, but I'm not even gonna say it. Did this man just get on his knees and praise George? Oh, oh my. Oh, what the. I, yep, it's official. I, 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 did, did he just say, let me praise George Floyd? What am I watching? Bro, I'm so stuck on the fact. I don't want to see. Look, I don't want to go off right now and talk my stuff if this is a joke. I I never seen nobody act like this before. If this is a grown man acting like this, if it's not a skit or play or plan any type of way, I'm gonna talk my stuff. I hope this is a joke. See, I see. I'm trying to hold myself because sometimes people make jokes like this. I don't see him playing your skits. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just don't know if this, like, I, the sad thing is, the way our world is, I, I'm starting to think this is real. I mean, our world is, our world is pathetic. It's people actually like this, and I, I'm starting to think this is real. Don't see, I don't know. That's the thing. Like, I can't tell if you' being serious or not. I ourselves with excellence and focus our agenda on city business and in return we ask that those that come before us provide the same level of respect thank you next speaker that was the last one thank you okay what the Hello, how are you guys doing council um, so my name is Alexandria Stein, and I'm here today to call out transphobia here in Plano. I'm currently being restricted from swimming in the city of Plano Swim League against the women, even though it's clear that I reassigned my gender last week. Like, for example, do I look like a man? Obviously I'm not. This is a woman. Hey, yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No fake titties. Those, those ain't no titties. Those doorknobs. That is not no titties, boy. You is a order in the court. That is a man.
That is a man. I object. Uh, that is a man. Don't you never say, do you look like a man? Yes. Yes, indeed. 100%, 2,000%, 100,000% 100, correct. You do look like a man. I don't know what titties you try to cut. Those ain't titties, my boy. Those is not titties. I object. Those is doorknobs. And I, I know it's some women with doorknobs, but boy, though, you can't, uh, uh you can't, you can't, you can't play a player. I'm sorry. You just cannot play a player. Simple as that. Woman. But they're not going to let me swim and compete against the ladies. Because look at your voice. They will not let me swim and compete against the ladies. Ha. What? Is a transphobia. So what I need you guys to do is I need you to wake up. We have champions like Leah Thomas. She's an NCAA champion. The best swimmer in college today. I can't get a scholarship unless I'm able to send a recruiting tape to these colleges. So they say, oh, oh, you have an unfair advantage, Alexandria. What, what looks like, does this look like an unfair advantage to y'all? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You scaring me, my boy. I swear, you scaring me. I, you honestly scaring me. Does this look like an unfair advantage? There's nothing unfair about this. I mean, look at me. I'm freaking, I'm the same as a girl, but yet. You guys are going to let transphobia run rampant. Paige, I'm so worried. You're the city attorney. You really got to stand up and do something because, you know, that is gender bias. And I don't like gender bias. I'm on hormone therapy. So my estrogen levels are so high, they're through the roof. But you guys are going to sit here and you're not going to... This is you. Or at least it could be you. You've been island hopping through Greece with a group of people you just... Take me seriously, you're going to laugh at me. I'm trying to compete. And yes, I was born a boy. So what? Guys, this is 2022. It doesn't matter what you're born. We have Kintaji Brown Jackson even says she doesn't even know what a woman is. So then I'm a woman. So that's what you guys have to do. If the Supreme Court justice is on my side, then why can't I get the same from the Plano City Council? That's the problem is I come here and I'm still a victim of transphobia. Yet we have champions like my girl Leah, my sister, and she is she gets to win. But I don't. Why not? That's what I'm asking you. Why not? Why can't I swim against the ladies? Why are we having a transphobic world where I just want to compete against the ladies? Why are you saying that I'm not a biological woman? Clearly. I don't feel comfortable listening to a man in a tight swimsuit. I just don't feel comfortable listening to a man. Please don't turn around again, sir. Please. I feel so violated right now. I feel mad violated. Don't turn around again. I, I beg you, do not turn around again. I don't want to see them white cheeks hanging out that tight swimsuit. Whatever you got going on, leave that over there, okay? I, this whole video got me like, I, I'm so lost in this video, y'all. Like, I'm I'm real life lost right now. I'm so lost. I'm, I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I, I, I'm lost. I don't know what's going on. I don't care. I don't know what's going on. I'm lost right now. Please, somebody help me. Help me. I look like a biological woman. I mean, come on. It's been hours tucking this thing in. Give me a break. I should be able to swim. And I'm on so much hormone therapy, I don't even know left or right anymore. So I'm doing this. I don't have an unfair advantage. No way. So I need you guys to stand up. We have a city issue, Rick. And we can actually fix this and let me compete against the ladies. I'm sick of these women. Oh, you're, you're having an unfair advantage. Yeah, right. And I'm mentally ill and they won't even let me compete in the Special Olympics. So go figure, think about that. I can't compete in the Special Olympics and I can't compete against women. What kind of bigotry is that? Are you guys gonna let that stand? I wouldn't let that stand. If I were y'all, I would stand up for me because in the future- the Y'all won't even let me compete in the Special Olympics. Bro, this has to be the funniest video I have reacted to all year so far. I, I This has to be the funniest video I reacted to. I swear, this has got me dying right now. Like, I don't even know if it's... Honestly, I can't take it serious. I can't take the video serious. So if y'all want me to be on here, I don't think you should be doing that. Ain't you should, like, you know how I normally spit facts? I can't even take this video serious. I don't care if it's real or not, bro. I can't take it serious. I just can't. The video is too much of a joke for me to even take serious, bro. Because I'm a laugh. I'm gonna laugh. It, it. They're gonna write these in the history book and you're gonna have to decide, decide what side Plano is on. Were they transphobes or were they transpositive? And obviously I'm transpositive. So that's what I want. I want you guys to wake up to what's going on in the world and tell the city of Plano Swim League to let me compete against the ladies. I've been on hormone blockers for nearly two weeks now. And like I said, I'm so messed up from them. I'm, I'm probably gonna lose anyway, but I can send that tape to a college and I might get a scholarship, Julie. So don't look at me with your eyes, looking at me all mean. I'm out here trying to change for you. This is women's rights. I'm standing up for women's rights.
Thank you. I start never women rise. I start never women rise. I can't take this video seriously. Prime time Stein on Instagram. If you guys want to learn how to swim against the ladies, thank y'all so much. Hey, um. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna link the original video in the link description box below. The video already long on my end, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and link the original video down below, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and uh, I don't know what I just watched. I don't know what to say, but all I can say is this was a hilarious video. The two, the two first guys was pretty hilarious. Uh, but based off the whole video, the whole video was just a joke to me. Okay, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on. All social media platforms down below in the link description. You hear me? Without further ado, this is me, your boy, the pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.